Yep. Yeah. It's running. Okay. Alright, I'm going to just explain a little bit about how I get the horse like this. To run at 40 miles an hour, who's controlled? It's an Argentine six year old thoroughbred mare. Um, got a funny name, Pickle. Pickle, how can I get <laughs> like Pickle? But anyway. Um, the most important thing is we're going to try to communicate with our body. Everything our body does dictates something that the horse tells her what, what I want. If I do things that are not quite right, she'll get confused and get upset. She's, uh, really, really powerful, very sensitive, as you can see, she wants to go, she's a thoroughbred, she's bred to go, so I'm going to try not to restrict, restrict her too much by standing around and talking, so I'm going to start moving straight away. I've already warmed her up for the purposes of the video, so she's ready to go. Before I start, I'm going to start communicating with her a little bit by telling her what I want. Um, I'm going to do that by using my legs, my hands, my body, my legs, I'm going to squeeze her, I'm also collecting her or engaging with my fingers, so I'm squeezing very gently. And when I ask her to counter, she counters very well. I see by my body language that I'm looking where I'm going, I'm not actually looking at my horse at all. I've burnt a circle on the ground and I Clicking around a little bit, very useful for running, spreads a little bit, but I've got to control that very carefully. I'm going to ask her to stop just up here. I'm sitting deep in the side, I'm squeezing my fingers, I keep squeezing my fingers, and now the car is going to go backwards. I'm going to release it again, I'm going to go over here, I'm pushing with my left leg. She's still listening to me very carefully, but as you can see, I'm sitting in the front of the saddle, which is probably not required for now at this speed, but we go faster. It gives me the ability to go much, much quicker. See, I didn't really pull on my reins here. I literally sat down and squeezed my fingers. The more I control her, the more I restrict her, the more agitated she'll become, as you can see right now. If I lock my hands down on her neck, she's getting quite upset now. You can see she really wants to get away from me, but if I relax and let the reins go a little bit, she starts to settle down. Now I'm going to tell her I'm going to go again, so I'm going to engage her. Now you can see already she's lightened up again. And I'm going to ask her to go, and she should go pretty immediately. Because I have her in my hands, she's sitting on her back legs and she's stopping. Her body goes a little bit out of where I want to go. You get the idea. That's a little bit of an idea about how we make a half a ton thoroughbred. Run 40 miles an hour, stop, turn, and swing the stick over. That's another story.